Hey guys, happy May. I like, where is this year going? It's monthly favorites time once again, so I'm sharing some of my favorite things from the past month, ranging from like entertainment, beauty, clothing, and I've started recently sharing a recipe. So let's start off with entertainment. This show is like that show on Netflix that everybody is like talking about watching, like you see so much of it, it's all over Facebook, and I was like, what is this? Started watching 13 Reasons Why. Right now, I'm on episode 10. By the time this video goes up, I'll be done. But it is just, it's such a brilliant show. The message is so important, especially for kids in high school right now. Um, try not to give every anything away, um, but it deals with bullying and it's just like really important it it's just so well done and like the way they did it that it's kind of like a mystery and you don't really know what happened but like it's just really really well done and if you haven't watched it I suggest you watch it before somebody spoils it for you um kind of reminds me of why I didn't really like high school like I definitely didn't I'm not comparing myself to the character Hannah in any way but High school wasn't the greatest by the end of four years. I was ready to say bye to everybody. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know. It just kind of brought back some not really nice memories, but at the same time, like, it wasn't that bad compared to what other people probably experience in high school, but just, me, like took me back there and thank god I'm like far away from that now uh, but it like high school wasn't horrible I found the music program I got to go to Disney World with my high school and like found music theater which was like my place or at least I thought so but it wasn't all bad <laughs> uh, next John Mayer's new CD CD album The Search for Everything. He released it in three waves so you got like four songs at a time in February, March and then it was completed in April. Um, I really like it. I have like keep listening to it. I really like how it flows. Um, I'm trying to think of what my favorite song might be from it but then all I think of is the music video for Still Feel Like Your Man. <laughs> If you haven't watched it, go watch it because John Mayer dances and it's just really entertaining. Um, that song gets stuck in my head. Emoji of a wave gets stuck in my head. I don't know. I like because four of the songs are still so new that I don't really know which one's my favorite, but Emoji of a wave gets stuck in my head a lot. But yeah, I really and like I've been following John Mayer since I was in elementary school, so. I always like when he has new music come out and I got to see him this in April and he's amazing as always as, as always I talked about it a little bit in one of my weekend vlogs um, but like I have been following him for a very long time and so if you're interested I will put a link to that weekend vlog there that you can hear a little uh, like good story about that concert um, Next is a YouTuber couple that I found recently. Um, I feel like I live under a rock sometimes when it comes to YouTube that I haven't heard of people who are like really popular. Um, but I started watching Ellie and Jared. I think I found their video. It came up because they had recently built a house and Ethan and I have bought a house recently. So I just kind of wanted to like go through that experience with them. They're in it now and this was like six months ago that they moved in, but I'll take any information I can get. Our house is not a custom house, theirs was a custom house, but still just it's kind of nice to see the process and even though they're in the States and we're in Canada, it's, it's kind of similar, so. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed watching them and then of course like they just happened to be going to Disneyland like the week, it's actually their birthday. So, are right around mine so they went for their birthday week so when on my birthday I got to watch uh, Disneyland stuff so that just was a funny like what is the word I'm looking for it's not there 
coincidence there we go coincidence it was a funny coincidence but yeah I've been enjoying them uh, and their kids are really cute uh, but that's it for entertainment. But yeah, I've been watching it like now. It's like if none of the people that I nor like normally watch have a new video, I'll just watch Ellie and Jared. So I'm enjoying that. Next, uh, for clothing, I again showed, I feel like you guys get a behind the scenes look if you watch my weekend vlogs. Um, I showed these in, um, a weekend vlog. It's just a whew, tank top from Old Navy. It's actually wet because I washed it. Um, but I just really like wearing a tank top underneath my clothes, um, and those were like two dollars on ridiculous sale, so I stocked up on those. But yeah, I'll just wear them under a shirt. Just makes me feel more comfortable, even under a sweater or a t-shirt. Of course, I'm not wearing one under this, but whatever. Um, but yeah, that's, they're just really comfortable and I like them. Uh, next is this, like, sweater. I'll also put a picture of what it actually looks like in, I'll pop it in, maybe over here. Um, but this sweater from Fabletics, it actually, I shared it a couple months ago in my monthly favorites, a pair of leggings from Fabletics that was like thicker, um, almost like fleece but not quite, but that was the top that came with that outfit. So it's getting warmer and I've like run outside a couple times but I've been wearing that sweater because it's still kind of cold um so it's just nice I just wear that in a sports bra and it's pretty good but yeah it's like not too heavy it has like thumb holes so I can put the sleeves up if my hands are cold which they have been but it's just really nice uh and nice to kind of have I don't really have any long sleeve shirts so that's just what I've been wearing um, and then I also wanted to bring up my running shoes that I wear. Um, so this pair is actually what I wore to Disney World. Uh, they're Asics GT2000. Um, so I use these as like walking shoes. Um, I'll wear them to work and stuff. Um, they're really comfy. I've had two pairs of sock knees that after a little bit kind of irritated my toe. Um, so I got those instead, um, but they've, like, I've had them for almost a year. I think I picked them up last April, um, so they're a lot better. And then the other pair is this pair, also Asics. They are the it says Gel Pursue on the bottom, and then T490N. Maybe they're the gel pursue. I don't know, but I wear these like when I work out, I run in those and they've held up really nicely as well. So um, ASICs work for me. They might not work for you, but that's just my opinion. I like them better than sock knees and I feel like they're relatively close to the same price point. But they just like, they're so cushy. They just like feel so nice that I like them. But, so that's it for clothing for a beauty. Um, I'm wearing it right now. It is the Tarte, Tartiest Lip Paint in Birthday Suit. This was actually the birthday gift that I got from Sephora. And I've been really liking it. I got this one and then I got a Kat Von D one. But I find this one is a little bit like creamier. And it doesn't quite dry out my lips as much. Um, it's a little like. I feel like it looks darker on camera than it does in real life. It's just like. Slightly off from my natural lip color. So it's nice. Um, I don't feel like it's too dark. I really do feel like it looks darker on camera, but I really like this. I've like put this on my wish list to buy in the full size, so I obviously like it. Um, and then the other like beauty related thing is the um, brush cleaning mat from Sephora. So it has like the little handle. I usually just put it in the sink and then it also comes with a microfiber cloth to clean it. But like I use this and it was, it was like it made my cleaning my brushes fun. Like, when does that ever happen? Um, I've been using like the tiny little thing that comes with the solid um, beauty blender cleaner, like the soap bar pretty much. 
um, and this just made it so much easier because it's so much bigger and it has different textures that you can just like rub it through and it just like made it a life easier. Um, I did, my mom actually wanted to get one in the Sephora spring sale and all the VIB, VIB Rouge people bought all of them. So still on a wish list because she wants one now. But if you are looking for one, I originally wanted like the Sigma one that fits in the sink, but now I don't really have a sink that shape anymore. Um, but this was like less than $10, I think, and like totally worth it. So plus it's small that you can like take it anywhere. Like this doesn't take up any room. So I would definitely recommend it. I just love Sephora brand stuff. Like they've done a good job. The last thing, my recipe for the month, is guacamole. Yes, it's the re recipe from allrecipes.com, but I actually find that website really reliable. Um, I've... I eat... Bleh, bleh, what am I trying to say here? I eat avocado toast every morning. Um, so we buy, like, the bag of avocados that comes with, like, five but I eat like a half of one a day, so that's really only two. So then I have three left over, but then like the bag is cheaper than buying just two and a half regular ones. So we've been buying the bag and then to not waste the other avocados, I've been taking those and making guacamole. Um, the first time I made it, I can't remember if, I don't think I used that recipe, but I didn't have everything, so it was like, it was okay and then found the recipe actually like bought all of the things for the recipe and like made it and it was good so I've made it twice now um, but it's really good and then the other thing that I got like for that is the tube of herbs instead of buying fresh cilantro because we don't really use it a lot in cooking to buy the tube that's good for like a really long time so then I always have it. It just like made so much more sense. So if take that into consideration, I guess if you if that's an option, um, I just think it makes sense. So yeah, <laughs> those are my monthly favorites from April 2017. Let me know what you enjoyed this month. Um, yeah, and I hope you guys have a great May. I will see you in my next video. Thanks for... Blah, blah, blah. Holy, I can't talk today and I'm th filming three videos. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.